This is Marie. And this is Meg. And this is Mission Impossible. We are two sisters with one weight loss goal and no turning back. Today, we're going to be talking with you about uh, the 5 and one Optivia program that you've probably heard about, but don't know what it is. Maybe you overheard somebody in the coffee room, in the break room, you know, coffee break room at work, talking about how they've lost a lot of weight, and you were just curious about what this program might be all about, and we're going to tell you the ins and outs of it today, just the nuts and bolts so that you can make a decision about if this program might be right for you. Um, if you're new to our channel, we um, are have been on this weight loss journey for about a year. Meg has lost about 80 pounds, and I've lost about 30 pounds. Um, and for this program, you will need a health coach. So you can find our information down in the descriptions below if you would like someone to help answer your questions. We can do a health assessment to help you determine whether this might be the right program for you to get started on. So let's dig into the content today, Meg. If someone were to ask you, just like, what is the five in one program? How would you start to answer that? Well, I think one thing is that this program has been around a long time and it's just recently sort of rebranded to be Optavia. So if you've heard people talk about MetaFast in the past or Take Shape for Life, that's the same program. Right. And they've been following the five in one too. So the five in one, the five refers to five fuelings that come from Optavia that you eat throughout the day. And then the one is your well, quote unquote real meal um, <laughs> that I call you're preparing this meal from the grocery store, buying a lean protein and vegetables and healthy fats to have often referred your, to as the lean and green, lean and green. Exactly. Uh, that's the official term for it is the lean and green. Mm -hmm. So it's a way to really um, monitor your eating throughout the day, have a very simple structured program to eat and lose weight. And the goal is losing weight fast. That is uh, the primary purpose of the five in one program. Right, right. So we should just point out that this weight loss five in one program is just one component of the Optavia program, which is includes six steps, um, including how to transition to quote unquote more normal eating or eating more real food um, so that you can maintain your weight loss throughout life and achieve your optimal health and well being. We'll cover just like what is Optavia in a separate video, but we're really just going to focus on the five in one program today. So let's give you some examples of the, the five fuelings that you eat every day. Um, Meg, I'll let you pull some of those up and we'll just kind of kind of show them. But the idea is that you eat every two to three hours, one fueling, um, starting with like eating the first one within the first hour that you wake up. And there are tons of options. There's over 50 different choices that you can purchase. Um, so no matter what your flavors that you like, there's got to be something that um, that's going to for you. So, <laughs> all right, let's start with some of the crunchers, for example, like the crunchy items. I have smoky barbecue crunchers. What do you have? I have some uh, pretzel type sticks here and they have um, honey mustard and onion as well as cinnamon and sugar flavor. And then I also have a single serving of cereal. So these are they look like um, they look like Cheerios. Cheerios, yeah. <laughs> I was like that thing, that popular cereal. Cheerios. Yeah. Um, and they come in the cinnamon crunchy flavor as well as like a strawberry flavor. Yep. Um, mixed so berry. you have a few options there. Yeah. So if you're finding something, want something crunchy, those are the types of things you have. They also have shakes. So for example, I have a silky peanut butter shake. That's what I pulled as well, ah, so okay. peanut butter, but a I think just for sizing, um, this is about the same size as my cell phone. Mm -hmm. So these are really easy to shove in a purse or a pocket or whatever. Right. And you might be wondering, what do you do with this? You don't eat it usually straight out of the pack, although in some cases you could if you just want to mix it up in there. But normally you mix it with some water and in some cases you need to cook it. In other cases, some people like to eat their cookie dough by itself without actually cooking it. Um, and they have all sorts of options. You've got cakes, soups, chilies, heartier meals like pasta. 
Um, but they're all interchangeable in terms of nutrition. So it doesn't matter when you eat, if you want to eat breakfast for dinner or dessert for breakfast, you can eat any of them at any time of the day. They all have about 90 to 110 calories um, and they're all low carb, high protein. So a couple more examples, hearty red bean, chili. What do you have? Uh, so I have a brownie. This is one of the ones that you cook. And so this is a powder that you mix with water and then you cook for about a minute. So it's really fast. Um, it's kind of like those brownie in a mug um, creations that come in the grocery store. But this is, you know, good for you because it has protein. It has all your vitamins and minerals. Um, that's one of the things that some people kind of hesitate around is that this is a pretty low calorie program. So how are you getting all the things that your body needs? Well, each of these fuelings is nutritionally balanced for that reason. And they also have in them probiotics, uh, which is an, a, a recent addition with Optavia. They started adding probiotics um, in their fuelings, which really helps with, the, with digestion and just making sure that your gut biome stays healthy. Um, I've got some other examples of cinnamon cream cheese swirl cake and a buttermilk cheddar or biscuit. Yum. Um, there's also bars. So we're not going to spend a whole lot more time, but uh, I know Meg has a ton of different bar options. They have lots of different flavors. If you like chocolate, caramel, raisin, oat. Yeah. So those are some of my favorites are the bars. Um, they're really, they're really tasty. And yes, I know you want to know that your dying question is, is the food actually good? Are the fuelings good? Or you have to force them down? Um, everybody finds a few things they don't like, but by and large, the majority of them, I would say 90% of them, I find to be very delicious and are things that I would continue to eat even after I'm finished with the program as a treat instead of like a brownie, for example, I would totally eat the Optavia brownie. Um, so you'll find some favorite fuelings of your own, but um, they are delicious. What do you think, Meg? Do you like them? Yeah, I would agree with that. I think the first couple of weeks you're on the program, you're kind of navigating which of those fuelings sound good and you would eat again versus which ones you're never going to order again. An example is back when this was Metafast, they used to have a powder that you mixed with water to turn into scrambled eggs. And oh yeah, I remember that. I don't know if you remember that. That was I do. gross. Like yeah, the idea I, of eating like powdered eggs is disgusting. So yeah, that's I'm been glad discontinued. That they <laughs> was not a popular item. Um, they do rotate sometimes, so they'll come out with new new um, offerings. Um, and um, so anyhow, just keep, to keep moving us along, um, it does put you in a mild fat burning state. Um, so it's not like keto, which is a little bit more severe. It's a higher protein and much, much lower carbs. This is a more mild program, um, but you still get amazing results. And um, but before we get into the results piece, let's talk about, we talked about the five fuelings a day. Let's talk about the one lean and green. Meg, tell us about what that is. All right. So the lean portion is a lean protein, which could be anything from turkey, fish, beef, um, and also non-meat options like egg whites, tofu. Um, cottage cheese. Cottage cheese. Greek yogurt. Yes. Yeah a lot of options for your lean. It's just a very high protein thing. And those are broken down between lean, leaner, and leanest. So the leanest ones are typically like fish and you get the biggest portion size there. You get seven ounces and that's a cooked weight. Yeah, so that's a lot. That's a lot. That's, that's a yeah, it's a pretty he healthy portion of protein and feels very substantial. So if you eat in that leanest category, then you get two healthy fats mm -hmm. uh, to go along with your lean and green. If you eat in the leaner category, you only get one. If you eat in the lean category, you don't get any because in theory, those healthy fats are kind of in the meat itself. Right. And so um, a healthy fat, for example, might be like an olive oil that you might do a stir fry. So you might have that um, or some avocado on the side. So that's just an example of how you would add in the healthy fat if you needed to. And then what's, exactly. what's included in the greens? The greens is three servings of vegetables. And these are lean vegetables. So some key things that you might think of as vegetables that are Like non-starchy. Yeah, you're not going to be able to eat corn, peas, carrots, 
Uh, even onions, oddly enough, um, those are vegetables that are very high starch. And so during the weight loss phase, you don't want to be including those. But a lot of like leafy greens, zucchini, squashes, um, cucumbers, tomatoes, all of those things are considered vegetables. And the lower carbohydrate they are, the more you can have. So spinach, you know, Popeye's favorite is considered one of the lowest carbohydrates. So instead of a half a cup serving, you get a full cup serving of spinach. So that's another way that you can kind of bulk up some of your um, choices so that mm -hmm. you feel like you're getting a more substantial um, kind of fueling of your body without, you know, whacking out on the total calories. So what if you're someone like me who may not be a great cook or like doesn't like to cook a lot? So do you have to prepare your own lean and green or do you have other options? No, you have uh, two main other options. The first is that you can buy prepackaged lean and green meals from Optavia. So Marie has one right there. Um, and the other is that you can actually dine out on this program. Um, it's not going to be ideal to dine out all the time, but the Optavia comes out with a dining out guide that basically says, if you're going to this re restaurant, here's what you can order that's on the lean and green menu. So an example would be if I'm going to Chick-fil-A, I could get the Southwest salad, you know, have the dressing on the side or no dressing, no croutons and grilled nuggets on top. And that would count as my lean and green. So there are definitely options if you're like, I am low on time. I need to hit a drive through, yeah. I'm in the middle of nowhere, whatever those things are. So that kind of brings us to like, how is this program a little bit different than some other ones? Like one of the things I think that you just hit upon is the convenience factor. Um, if you are busy um, and don't wanna be preparing multiple meals, like it is easy. Um, it's an easy program to, to take with you if you're on the go. Um, because a lot of the fuelings, you can pick ones that you don't have to prepare in a microwave that you can eat from your car or eat in between meetings. Um, and, and even the foods that you eat, the lean and green, if you're preparing foods for your family, you can just leave out the starch. So whatever you're preparing for them, maybe it includes a baked potato. You don't eat the baked potato, but you still have the broccoli and salmon that you're feeding everybody else. So I find it's pretty easy to, to modify. Um, what are some other differences with other programs that are out there, Meg? I mean, I think there are some programs that say you can eat whatever you want in moderation, and that just leaves you with a ton of choice and kind right. of agonizing over like, do I eat the raspberries or the watermelon? Like, which one is better? And it's like on this program, it's very prescriptive. You can have these things and you can have this amount of them, and there's really no thinking about it. Right. <laughs> it's just like pick and mix and match and move on with your life, which is definitely something I've appreciated. Yeah, and if you've studied anything about habits, you know that the more that you can minimize those choices and make your um, choices like default and easy, uh, the, less, the less willpower you need to, um, to stay on the program. So I think it really helps make those choices easy and simple. Um, that also, I think you mentioned before, you see really fast results. And the other thing that's a little bit different is with this program is you do have a one-on-one -on -one coach assigned to you. So you can select your coach. Again, if you want to work with one of us, our details are down in the description below. Um, if you do go onto the Optavia website and, and sign up directly, they're just going to assign you whoever happens to pop up in their queue. So if you want to select a coach that you know is going to work with you and work with your personality, feel free to reach out to us and we're happy to help you. Um, last thing I know everybody wants to know, can I afford this program? How much does it cost? Yeah, is it expensive? So right. these fuelings are sold in boxes of seven and it breaks down to about $3 per fueling. So if you're eating five of these a day following the five in one program, that breaks down to $15 a day, plus whatever the cost of your lean and green is um, to be fully on program. Yeah, and if you eat out once a day, um, you're spending usually that amount of money anyhow. I know that I haven't found it to be um, a much greater expense than when I was typically, you know, grabbing a lunch uh, at work out. 
Um, so a lot of people find that it doesn't cost them a lot more because you are eating less of other foods that you normally would buy. So it's not like it's an expense on top of what you already spend on food. It's instead of some of the other things that you would normally purchase for yourself. Um, but even if it is a little bit more than you're used to spending, do you think it's been worth it, Meg? Uh, I would definitely say yes. I can count the number of programs I've tried and haven't stuck with, whether it's uh, Weight Watchers, meal delivery services, boot camps. I mean, like all the money yeah. I've spent on weight loss that never worked. Um, this program has worked for me. And I'm not saying that it's the only program that could work for you. Like the most effective program is going to be the one that you can stick with. And That's I've been right. able to stick with this. Um, and so I've seen results like I've never been able to achieve before. Um, I've never been at the weight that I'm at now as an adult. So um, that is a huge accomplishment for yes. me as someone who's struggled uh, lifetime. Yeah, it's awesome. And I should also say there are no other expenses um, other than things that you might purchase yourself, but it doesn't cost you anything for the coach, the fee, any of those types of things. It's just built into the food that you purchase. So if, for example, you find that, you know, you don't need to buy food or you just want to try the program out. There's no like initiation fee to get into the program. You can um, purchase your first month's food, give the program a try. If it doesn't work for you, if it doesn't feel like it's a good match, you don't feel great on the program, you don't have to continue. Um, but I definitely, what I've heard from other people, what I've seen is that people are amazed by the results that they see. It's very motivating um, because you get that momentum and then you just want to keep going. Um, so people are usually very excited and when they see those results and find that it is the simplicity of the program um, is, is really, um, is really great and makes it easy to follow and, and people love it. So I know I've also yeah. seen great results and I think it's worth it as well. Um, you need to find out for yourself by giving it a try and finding out if it works for you too. So I think with that, is there anything else you want to add about the five in one program? So I was just going to say, in terms of results, um, we do have to have the disclosure that t typical results on the program um, are that on the five-in-one program, people typically lose about 12 pounds and are on that program for 12 weeks. So that's according to Optavia's studies. Mm -hmm. What we will, we, we can say from personal experience is that our results have been better than that. A lot of people in their first week on program might lose five or more pounds just in yeah. that first week. Um, and then within your first month, anywhere from, you know, 10 to 20 pounds, it just in that first month, because you have such a large shift from the previous way that you were eating. So when we talk about, you know, fast results, significant results, that's the kind of, you know, magnitude that we're talking about. Yep. Yep. Thank you for the disclaimer. And that includes people who maybe you did the program for one day and, and stopped. So it's got everybody, everybody in there mixed in there with those, with those averages, but um, all right. So I think that um, I'll turn it over to you to close this out. All right. So now that you've heard about the Optavia five in one program, if you're ready to get started, you can see our contact details down in the description below. And our first step is going to be doing a health assessment with you and seeing if this five in one program is really the right program for you, because there are other options. It just happens to be that this one is the primary program that people follow. So your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to join us on this optimal health journey. Um, you can follow along on our progress. We have a number of videos about our monthly progress updates. We've got videos about our favorite fuelings. Check out these other resources and we'll be adding to our library about the basics of the Optivia program so that you can feel confident getting started on your weight loss journey. Until next time.